Hello everyone, it's Stevio here. So let's look at our site map. We sent some soils in, we had a ground list come out. So let's look what we need to do for this land here. So we pulled it up on the computer here. So basically we own 33, 34, 35, 41, and 42. If you could see, all of our fields need lime. So that's a lot of lime we got to put in. I don't know if we could do this all ourselves. We might have some of it contracted, but we'll at least try to knock out most of it ourselves. So that's one of the big things we need to get done today. Let's get to it. course we got to have our coffee before we start the day so now that we are good with the coffee we need to feed some cattle and of course give buck some loving hey buddy what's up Let's see how this old tractor starts up uh oh oh there we go Good old international there. So we don't have to go far for this first feeding. It's just right here. Feed these cattle. Hungry, hungry cattle there. So what about one ton? It's like more than that. Just a little over one ton we put in there. While we were at it here, we'll leave this tractor running. Uh, hop over the fence. Hop over the fence here. Uh, check the water. For whatever reason, I'm having a hard time with my uh, automatic water fillers. They aren't filling this trough. I don't know what is the deal. I actually have two of them set here. Never had an issue with these automatic water uh, fillers. I'm going to have to check them out. Maybe something's wrong with them, but pretty simple. All it does is hit a lever and fills it up. Boss, there's new feed in there. Just letting you know. So we will jump over. One of the things we do have to remedy here soon is we have to do something with our straw. We're going to have to put some straw in here. We have two separate pins. Them are our, host, our Jersey's cattle over there and these will, are our Black Angus cattle. Uh, you're not going to get out, are you buddy? Stay right where you're at, okay? Move, move out of the way. There we go. We're gonna definitely have to shut this fence because these cattle are escape artists. Alright, now that we have them fed, we better shut this gate. Look like somebody's eyeing an escape right there. Uh, we'll go back this up in its normal spot. Okay, I want to take the saddle tanks off of the 4250 we're gonna use it as a lineman tractor I need to clear a clear spot so we can take it into our shop here so I need to fold up our planner we've been working on and park it over here to the side see how this old case starts a little bit cold this morning not too cold there we go leave it run for a little bit and then we will Fold this up. Kind of unique how this planter folds. Alright, so we will pull this over to the side here. So that should be good. Now we could just pull it right in there. Start this old girl up. See how this John Deere starts. Uh oh, started on the first one. Good old deer. So 
We're just going to pull this right into the garage here. Take these saddle or these uh, side tanks off, fertilizer tanks off. All right, now we've got them side fertilizer tanks off. We didn't really have to do that, but I just wanted a better visual out of the front, more easier way to see. So now we're going to go hook up to our uh, Lyman trailer. Before I actually go over to the Lyman trailer, I'm going to start up this top kit. We need it to go pick up some lime here in a little bit. There we go. It starts up. We'll leave that warm enough while we go hook this girl up. So pull this all out. Not the biggest Lyman spreader, but fairly good size for this uh, tractor. So I think I'll just go take this directly to the field. So we're going to start on our uh, one of our crop fields. Plan is to make both of these fields behind the house here into crop fields. That's the plan anyways. Leave that old girl right there. Alright, so now we're going to go get in the top kick and get a few loads of lime. Old girl's still running over here. So we gotta go to the local co-op, go get us a couple loads of lime, because we're definitely going to have to lime a lot of areas. So we are just pulling up, we got 30, almost 36 tons of lime on this top kick. We're going to pull over here probably going to drop it right here there we go so now we're gonna go get another load so we got another almost 36 tons of lime here Pulling in a little driveway. So I think we will just hold at two truckloads for now. Probably just dump this on the same pile over here. Over here to the side. I'm hoping this, uh, what would this be? 60, 72 tons almost. We'll do these two fields here. Not for sure though. Dump this in there. Ooh, that's a big pile of lime there. All right, now that we're done with the GMC here, we're gonna go park it. Uh, hopefully I don't have to go get another load, but we will see. I think I'm gonna park it in the same spot I got it from. We'll scoot it in between this uh, barbed wire fence and this shop. Didn't make that turn right. Alright. Scoot it right over here. There we go. That thing always shuts off hard. Now we need to get into our new kid steer. So this is our newest piece of equipment on the farm. If you look at it, it is nice. So get in here. Yeah, this thing is really nice. Course starts right up. So we're going to take this grapple off. This thing has inside the cab uh, unhooks here. Look at that. Really nice. All the controls work nicely. So we're actually going to go get this uh, bigger bucket here. So this is a pretty hefty duty uh, kid steer. It can hold, take a lot of weight. So I think this is probably one of the biggest loaders we have on the farm. And go over here, get a load of lime out of the pile. There we 
go. Oh man, already got a full bucket. So now is the question, does this go high enough? Looks like it might go high enough here. There we go. Just barely goes high enough. So it holds about just over four tons. So that's a major load on it. We have a uh, rear ballast uh, weights put on this thing too, so it could take more weight. Level it out there. There we go. Man, that pile is already depleting quickly. Go up a little farther. See how much this spreader will take. The only unfortunate thing is we really can't see how much we're putting in to the spreader. Oh, wow. Looks like we don't need a full bucket. This is a super boom. L234. All right. So now the spreader is full. We will park the little, uh, our big, I should say. Check this over, make sure everything's connected good. All right. Now we start up an old tractor here. Start, gonna start spreading over here. All right, let's turn this girl on. There we go. Fairly wide width, not the widest though. Going about nine mile an hour is our, uh, our calibrated speed to get the perfect uh, rate put down. It's like our cattle. You guys have feed, I don't know why you're balling so much. So this is our nice little cabin down here. That's why I love this farmyard. Got our nice little fishing cabin. So this is a little bit of odd shaped field. It has these uh, the tree growth in the center here. There we go, we're going around here. a pretty big field. It doesn't look that big, but it is big. Definitely have it has a huge slope to it. It's one of the reasons why we don't I didn't plan on uh, bailing this ground here because of the slope. Probably have a lot of runaway bales, especially if we do round bales. This does have an odd shaped little thumb over here. It's like we got some uh, smaller tree growth over here to the side. They slowly increase to bigger trees. I don't know if they harvest these trees or they just decided to plant. Maybe they're just trying to get away from wind erosions because this is definitely some hilly ground here. So we are liming around here. I don't know what is the deal with uh, the tracker tracks right there why it wouldn't let me lime right there that's a little odd but uh, anyways it's not doing it anymore so it's letting us lime there 
so just don't it's a little weird having them tractor tracks and for whatever reason it won't let me lime that area just a little odd this 4250 is doing great on this lime spreader it struggles a little bit going up this hill but not too bad usually we are able to go a steady nine mile an hour uh, this is definitely a, a different shape field as you can see uh, a little bit different kind of unique I don't like square fields anyways really so we have to do a lot of liming here in the next few days uh, hopefully I'm hoping to get these two fields done might have to contract somebody to do the other fields we will see though so I called the local co-op they're gonna bring a spreader down just because I don't want to have to uh, spread all this myself that's a big task to take on because our uh, pH levels are so off on our fields looks like uh, we're under a half load of this lime spreader so we still have our grass field over there I'll probably just have the just do these two fields and have the co-op do our other fields so we walked over here to meet the co-op guy to kind of sh show him where on the map I need him to spread where on our fields I need him to spread he's coming down right here nice old fertilizer truck uh, are you gonna stop are you just gonna keep going uh, what's the deal here I'm, I'm right here like right here ma'am okay thank you all right, so she's gonna start spreading right there. So it looks like, hopefully this will be able to get rained in. It's kind of odd liming grass like this. I think I'll go get the bobcat, and just make sure she's doing a good job. Don't want, you know, bad, so I can fix it right away before our field has a whole bunch of gaps or something. We're running racing over here. Basically, we're gonna spy on the co-op just to make sure they're doing a good job. Being this is grass, we could drive over it. It's such a uh, height that it's not gonna affect the grass and the, this bobcat doesn't weigh much. So she looks like she is getting pretty good coverage for the grass. Yep, right on the edge there. Looks like she's doing a pretty good job so far that I see. Make sure she's getting the corners over here. That old spreader sure rolls the coal there. So I'm kind of glad I don't have to lime all this. Nice old little Mack truck spreader over there good spreader the co-op has maybe uh, when they uh, retire that thing I might have to end up purchasing it so it looks like she's not spreading the cattle that's good so she's doing a pretty good job I think I'll leave her alone and uh, get back to my uh, own spreading so just pulling over here I left the tractor out in the field when I saw the co-op was coming up so I think I'll just uh, go and leave this park to the side of the field right here go get her tractor all right now let's take this over here and get another load loaded leave that tractor running jump into our kid steer New Holland doesn't really take too much many loads I should say. This bucket's huge on this thing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, we hit a bump and we tipped it over. Oh no.
Gotta clean this up here. Little bump there got us on that full bucket. Like we didn't hurt anything. Throttle is so responsive with this thing. You really gotta be careful. Not make too sudden of a move. There we go. There's a little itty bitty pocket right there that got us. A little hole there. this bucket nice and low till we get up close and start raising it should just need one more bucket load there we go I think we're full now What got us last time, a little pocket. We'll leave this parked over here. Start this spreader up again. So I do like how you can easily see right down into the spreader there. Working nicely. So I think once I get back to the other side, I'm gonna have to go show the co-op gal the other fields we need to be spread. So I'll go and uh, once I get down there by the Bobcat, go run her down there quick. Tractor has a hard time pulling that uh, old spreader on the corners here, but it does all right. We don't have any uh, front wheel assist tractors on the farm, so... We don't really deal with too much mud. It's not too big of an issue. Don't really need them. So, Grandpa didn't really believe in them too much. Always have another tractor to pull you out. So we'll get down to this edge and then we'll go run over there and uh, show her the other two fields in the back there that need to be uh, limed. Other two grass fields. We'll run over here. Man, them cattle are balling. Don't understand. I might have to go look at them. Run over here to our bobcat. We're gonna go show her so the other fields are kinda gotta go through a few gates and everything so we're gonna show her where to go. She could just follow us. Alright, so she's following us over here. Hopefully. Yep, there she goes. So we're going to have to get a little bit ahead of her. Just so we can open the gates. Make sure she sees us. Yep. Going over here. Go right by the cattle pin. Then we gotta go through this gate. Open that gate up. Is she coming? Hopefully, yep, there she is making her way around now. Slow down a little bit for her. She's definitely taking her time. I don't understand why. She go. She might have a pretty big load of lime still on her. She's just taking her time. These aren't the greatest roads, that's for sure. Yep, coming around. So we gotta open this gate up. There we go. All right, now she's coming through. All right, we'll get her started on this field. All right, uh, <coughs> man, I'm gonna have to tell her. Wait until you start spreading until I get out of the way. Come on. 
so she's take it off over there this is not a very big field so this is not going to take long and then I, I told her we're going to go right over here and spread this field this is also not a very big field kind of an odd shaped field and then uh, that should be it after we get done with our part we're the one taking a while though all right, let's get back over there to our John Deere. So it looks like we still have a humongous pile. So we still have to get a lot of stuff spread. If we stop getting interrupted all the time, maybe we can get it done. Try to drive on the outside of this field, so keep down the compaction a little bit. Probably could have skirted by the outside of that fence there. Oh, I guess we have a gate there. Duh. Could have just went through them gates and just ran over here. I'm new to this farm, so I don't know all the shortcuts yet. Of course, John Deere starts right up. Get this over to where we left off. We're gonna turn around and not go the short rows on this. So we'll start spreading the long rows right here. Definitely not as efficient of a spreader as a co-op has, but good little spreader to have. We don't need, really need a lime every year, so not a huge ordeal here. Organ. I think we have a little sliver on the bottom of this hill we have to do and I think I'll get my edges when I turned while we're at it too it's kind of weird how this tractor just stays so clean it's John Deere tractors man they stay must be a dirt immune or something Kind of odd it's staying this clean, but it's alright in my book. So I think because we only got like two ton beans, we're going over to the other field. We'll go fill this girl up really quick and then start in on our field beside us here. It's about the same size as this one, just not as odd shape. So we're going to go fill this up quickly. Alright, so now that's done, go park this uh, New Holland right here. Hopefully we get this whole pile depleted here. Might have to go sell some back to the co-op. Get our John Deere started on this field. Running back here, going to get another load of uh, lime filled up, roll already empty. Uh, Co-op should be about done, I would think, with them back fields. Might have to go check on them after we get her, after we get done with the filling this old spreader up. Oh, looks like the co-op is just leaving right there. I'll have to go make sure uh, she shut the gates. I don't think she probably did. Taking off. Hopefully she did a good job being she's taken off. Oh man, I gotta run back over here to the bobcat. Alright, so we're in the bobcat. We're gonna go check her uh, spreading out quickly. Hopefully she did a good job being she's taken off. And, uh probably have to go shut the gates yep 
Yep, look at that. Didn't shut the gates after she left. Go down. This is definitely a bumpy road going back, or a path, really. It's not really a road. Looks like she did a pretty good coverage on this field. Yep. Got all the way to the back little mound here. We will uh, try to scoot across over here. We could, uh, we're gonna go over a little mountain climbing here. Yeah, there we go. So she got this field too. We'll see all the way in the back over here. Sure, she got this little section back here. Yep. All right, so we are good. So I guess she can leave. So we're gonna jump over here, shut these gates, get back to filling our lime spreader. go that gate shut run up here and shut this other gate not a huge ordeal because we don't really have cattle back here yet but just in case they escape that area that way the gates are shut so we got a lot done so far we just gotta do this little strip here looks like we are out gonna have to get our last load have that one strip left of this big field got this whole field lined it's really amazing how this John Deere could stay so clean weird so we'll get this loaded here quickly and then that should be done for the day don't know if we're gonna get this whole pile here put into this lime spreader might have to keep some of it in the lime spreader to keep it under cover. We still have about 1.5 tons remaining. A little bit unfortunate, but we pretty much planned that almost perfectly. Go get this spread in the field. We're just going to head down to this side of the field and start spreading. So it looks like we're going to have around 8 to, or seven to six tons left over. So we planned a little bit too, we got a little bit too much lime, but that's all right. We'll just leave it in our lime spreader. There we go. 2019 lime and done. Well, thank you all for watching, and I will see you later here in Oregon. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe. See you next time.